Hey guys, uh, Jason here from CricketStoreOnline.com and as you can see here, this is a uh, $10 CA Cricket Ball got here and you would have remembered I did a blog a little while ago about I cut about 20, 30 of them open to show people exactly what's on the inside um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into two Kookaburra Cricket Balls these are top of the line Cricket Balls this is the Kookaburra Turf which goes for about $120 this is the Kookaburra Regulation Ball which goes for about $80 um, and I want to see what's inside uh, that makes them so expensive. Is there, uh, you know, jewels inside or, or is it just supreme materials? I've got all these cheaper balls to compare them to, so it'll be a good indication um, to show exactly what makes these balls so expensive. Because um, it's got to be what's inside, surely. So, let's give it a go. Might be a little bit noisy, but I'll turn the volume down. Um, Cut into them and see what's inside. Let's start with the regulation ball. That's the cheaper one. Um, so I'm going to grab my little, little grip here and we're going to cut it uh, down the seam first. Put on your safety goggles, always wear safety goggles, and also put on your gloves. really not keen on cutting my fingers. Let's see what's inside. It might be a little dusty. Uh, you probably, you're probably you not going to get smell of vision that's for sure. Just smell. It's always a little bit smelly cutting in. So let's have a look. that it is very soft. I remember the other balls were very very hard to cut into and so far this has been it's gone through like butter it's really soft and that might be a big part of why these are such good quality balls is how soft they are. Okay so here you have it I've cut open the first uh, the Kookaburra uh, regulation white ball um, and initially what I've seen is that comparing it to the CA um, test super test the CA Super Test has five layers of cork around the core. These layers are very thin um, and they seem quite hard as well. The, you would have remembered me saying that cutting into this ball was, was it really was nice and soft. It was almost like it was, was cutting through butter. It was really soft. The cork inside is, is definitely nice and soft. Um, and there's three layers around the core. The string is, is nice and thick um, and also uh, those three layers are, are nice and thick um, so it gives a good amount of I guess um, absorption um, and like I said that cork is is nice and I almost want to say fresh rather than being old and dry it's it's you know soft and new and fresh um, I'm obviously not a cork specialist but that's just you know how it feels by touch uh, another thing you notice is that the stitching I'm not sure if Kookaburra use a machine or if they do their stitching by hand but the stitching compared to the two, uh, the CA one is, is quite a mess and it goes all over the place and it's not very uniform. Uh, the Kookaburra one is perfectly uniform. It looks like it's been done by machine with mach ma machine precision. It is, it is that good. So that's definitely some of the changes or differences that you get in the two balls. Um, so that's cutting open the Kookaburra regulation for you. And now I'm going to jump into the Kookaburra turf. And so we're in, we're into the $120 Kookaburra Turf Ball um, and once again we have a five layer, beautiful five layer cork, uh, a lot of string um, around each core, uh, a smallish core in the center obviously to get that five layer of cork. Once again the cork is nice and thick, there's a lot of string uh, and the cork is soft, uh, it's got a real softness to it but obviously around that cork you've got the plastic core or the plastic cap you can see there's just just a lot of string there um, you've got a very similar four piece core uh, really good stitching that you can actually see right there which goes right through the plastic core uh, or the plastic cap and then a good layer of leather 
Once again, the leather is, is good and flexible. The coating on it is good. And once again, the stitching is just absolutely perfectly uniform. Uh, also, uh, one of the main differences I've seen with this is that on the cheaper balls, the lacquer or coating around the ball, which often peels off, is over the seam as well. So, uh, you know, the ball seems quite slippery. But on the kookaburras, there doesn't seem to be any of that sort of lacquer to make the ball a little harder. Um, and the when you grip the ball, the seam is almost hard and abrasive. So you get a real good grip on the ball and a real nice seam. So that's a quick little video for you. I'm going to take some pictures and add some pictures to the video for you, to the website. Uh, that was quite interesting. Um, no gold bars or diamonds or anything in the middle there to make them so expensive. Um, but you can definitely see and feel the quality um, as over the cheaper balls. Uh, the cheaper balls just look cheap, um, they're, they're made cheap, and that's why they are so cheap. Uh, definitely a very, very high quality cricket ball from Kookaburra, um, and I wish that we could obviously play with these at all, <laughs> never mind more often because we never use these expensive balls. But uh, thanks for watching the video, catch you guys later, bye.